60. Zechariah chapter 10. The Lord will care for Judah. Ask the Lord for rain in the springtime. It is the Lord who makes the storm clouds. He gives showers of rain to men and plants of the field to everyone. The idols speak deceit. Diviners see visions that lie. They tell dreams that are false. They give comfort in vain. Therefore the people wander like sheep, oppressed for lack of a shepherd. My anger burns against the shepherds, and I will punish the leaders. For the Lord Almighty will care for his flock, the house of Judah, and make them like a proud horse in battle. From Judah will come the cornerstone, from him the tent peg, from him the battle bow, from him every ruler. Together they will be like mighty men, trampling the muddy streets in battle. Because the Lord is with them, they will fight and overthrow the horsemen. I will strengthen the house of Judah and save the house of Joseph. I will restore them because I have compassion on them. They will be as though I had not rejected them, for I am the Lord their God, and I will answer them. The Ephraimites will become like mighty men, and their hearts will be glad as with wine. Their children will see it and be joyful. Their hearts will rejoice in the Lord. I will signal for them and gather them in. Surely I will redeem them. They will be as numerous as before. Though I scatter them among the peoples, yet in the distant lands they will remember me. They and their children will survive, and they will return. I will bring them back from Egypt and gather them from Assyria. I will bring them to Galid and Lebanon, and there will not be room enough for them. They will pass through the sea of trouble. The surging sea will be subdued, and all the depths of the Nile will dry up. Assyria's pride will be brought down, and Egypt's scepter will pass away. I will strengthen them in the Lord, and in his name they will walk, declares the Lord. Amen and hallelujah. There is a lot here. Um, this is, um, again, a prophecy on a prophecy, but like once again, uh, Zechariah, the Lord is telling us a prophecy about our Lord and Savior Jesus. Listen to what he says. <clears throat> From Judah will come the cornerstone, from him the tent peg, from him the battle bow, from him every ruler. And that is describing the cornerstone, which we'll get to in the New Testament, which will be what is needed as the new foundation, because the Lord's going to do something new for the people. And that is going to be his son, his one and only son to die for our sins. That is amazing because that is how the Lord is. Bring past to present. We can pray for something new from the Lord for our lives. Think about that. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing to understand and know that the Lord is just waiting for us to call upon him so he can do something new in your life, in our lives? That's amazing. And that is a blessing. And we can praise him for that. Give him praise. Give him glory. Before we go on, though, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think?